Hello everyone. Welcome. So this week we're doing a china closet that I had inherited from my grandmother many years ago. It's been sitting in this original condition for a long time um, in various rooms where it finally settled for quite a few years, probably almost about a decade in our finished basement. We have made it into a bar containing area where we keep our liquors and glasses and uh, all kinds of linens in the drawers and this particular piece has been with us uh, th in this condition like I said for a very long time so we've decided to redo it. We've decided to do this in more of a style that's conducive to our living. We prefer a more um, cottage look to it and this is more of a traditional. So what we're doing is we're doing the oven cleaner method. You spray on um, a fume-free, easy off. And I wouldn't use the generic brand. I would use the name brand oven cleaner. We're spraying it on to the uh, surfaces. And I taped up the edges of the window, but preferably you might want to have some sort of cardboard over the glass. It won't hurt it per se, but it is more of a fragile glass as this is an antique. Uh, I'll be spraying this all over and we'll let it sit. I'm beginning to spray down with water. Yes, do not panic. You do spray water all over the piece. You want a very high pressured wash or a pressure washer if you have that. Um, I do not, so I use a, just a pressure, a high pressure on the hose and you spray it all over the pieces of furniture and you will let it air dry. I had discovered in between you will want to scrub. I will talk about that later. Um, but then you want to spray it all down to get that oven cleaner off of the piece. I think you're supposed to scrub um, if I could get a scrubby and maybe scrub that down it might actually help that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna get a scrubby I'm just scrubbing which I, I should have done with the when I had the oven cleaner on but just to try to remove some of that varnish and I will be sanding profusely help it along. As you can see, it's taking some of that off. And the sander will finish it off, hopefully. So now um, at the end of all this, once you've rinsed it all off, you're going to let it air dry as I said. Um, you want to wash down any surface that any of that oven cleaner got on, your driveway, your stairs, 
um, anything. So you know you don't have it eating away at anything. It is a very strong cleaner. So now I'm sanding the piece. You want to make sure that it's completely dry. It has been sitting here on the driveway drying in a very hot day for at least a few hours. But I didn't sand it a lot because I liked some of the patina to come through the best I could. We used a gripper primer, one, two, three primer, I forget what it's called. But when you put this on, because of the type of wood that it is, you will see the orange coming through. You want to um, paint it a couple times with the primer and then later you will see me place um, a gray paint, a dark gray paint, like a slate gray color over it. So when you paint it again, I will be painting it white for a lot of it. Um, you won't see the oranginess coming through. This is the gray paint by Bear that I'm using to put over the primer so the orange doesn't bleed through. After this, I'm going to use a white chalk paint at, by Rust-Oleum that I will be placing over it to give it that nice country um, cottage vibe. So on these drawers here, um, I've decided not to paint it. I wanted to give it a different look and a feel. I've never quite done this two-tone before and I thought it'd be kind of neat. So I used an early American stain um, on the drawers. I noticed when I used the oven cleaner, I didn't take off the handles, so um, which is fine, but it did take off a lot of that dark uh, 
coloring that was the patina that was already happening on the handles and I kind of miss that so that may change down the road but for now I'm gonna let the brass come through it will start to darken as it ages again but for now we'll leave it see that stain coming through very similar to what I had before but it's just redone and it's a different texture as before it was more of a shinier finished feel that gave it like a waxy finish this has a nice raw wood feel to it So here you see our finished china closet. And I really like the wood, the stained wood look on the drawers along, along with the chalkboard white paint. I said to you about the handles that I didn't care too much that the oven cleaner had kind of taken off the um, patina that was left on it. However, we decided to spray paint them black with a matte black spray paint and I like it a lot better. So we also did the handle here, this little key that sticks in, um, which is great. We did the key and the keyhole here. We had done that in black as well. It's old, so it's a little rickety, but we like that charm. So we kept all their glasses in here and the liquor bottles. Not that we're big drinkers, but it's nice to know that we have a little bar when we have a gathering. We also did these hinges in a matte black, so it all kind of comes together and makes it cohesive. But it's supposed to be rough, we like the rough look of this because we want it to look like it's a country feel to it, a cottage feel. We hope you like it. Thanks for joining. So here's one of our projects recently. My husband likes to take things off the side of the road sometimes. I'll be honest, I've known to find I've been known to find some wonderful finds on the side of the road. And this is one of those things where I question because it's really cheesy, um, poorly made. Um, the wood itself is a well, there's parts of it that's real wood, but this is definitely some sort of, even though we have the molding here in front that is wood, this here is like a fabricated wood. It's like a laminated top. And the back here is just made to look like a wood grain, but it's a fake, eh, plasticky, cardboardy, if you can hear the sound, that's not real wood. Um, but there's elements of real wood. And I thought, okay, challenge accepted. I am going to make an even better cabinet. And I have some thoughts for our kitchen because we are trying to have some built-in areas. I'm in the basement right now where I seem to keep my little graveyard of finds. And this is one of them. And I'm ready to make a real uh, pantry out of it. So that is our thing. So here's the before. 
and I will show you step by step as much as I can, but you will definitely see the end result and I will show you along the way some of the things that I've done.